The sun dipped below the horizon, casting elongated shadows across the barren landscape surrounding the army camp. Sergeant Davis patrolled the perimeter, his footsteps echoing softly in the stillness of the night. He glanced up at the full moon, its eerie glow casting an otherworldly light over the camp. As he rounded a corner, a chill ran down his spine. Something felt off. The usual sounds of the night crickets chirping, the rustle of leaves were conspicuously absent. It was as if the very air held its breath, waiting. Suddenly, a blood-curdling scream shattered the silence. Davis's heart pounded in his chest as he sprinted towards the source of the sound. Racing through the rows of tents, he found Private Jenkins, his eyes wide with terror, cowering in a corner. What happened, Jenkins? Davis demanded, his voice sharp with urgency. Jenkins stammered, his words tumbling out incoherently, it. It was, a shadow, a dark figure, it dragged. Private Smith. Davis's blood ran cold. Private Smith was missing? In the dead of night? Panic clenched his chest as he rallied the troops, organizing search parties to comb through the camp. Hours passed with no sign of Private Smith. Tension mounted among the soldiers as they whispered of curses and evil spirits haunting the camp. Some claimed to have seen fleeting glimpses of a shadowy figure moving through the darkness, its eyes glowing with malevolence. As dawn broke, hope dwindled. Davis knew they had to find Private Smith before it was too late. Determined, he led one final search, scouring every inch of the camp. And then, in the furthest corner of the camp, they found him. Private Smith lay motionless, his body contorted in agony. His eyes stared blankly into the sky, devoid of life. Horrified whispers rippled through the soldiers as they gathered around, grappling with the inexplicable horror before them. To this day, the army camp bears the weight of that fateful night. Whispers of the shadowy figure linger in the air, a haunting reminder of the darkness that lurks just beyond the edge of our understanding. Story 2 the old abandoned army camp stood silently amidst the dense forest, its decaying buildings cloaked in shadows cast by the moonlight. It had been deserted for years, a relic of a forgotten conflict. But tonight, a group of adventurous teenagers had decided to explore its eerie corridors, drawn by tales of ghostly encounters and unspeakable horrors. As they crept through the overgrown vegetation, the air thick with anticipation, a sense of foreboding settled over them like a suffocating blanket. Each creak of a floorboard, each rustle of leaves, sent shivers down their spines. Entering the main building, they were met with a chilling sight. Graffiti covered the walls, the words and symbols twisted and grotesque in the dim light. But it was what lay beyond that sent fear coursing through their veins. In the center of the room stood a circle of candles, their flickering flames casting eerie shadows on the walls. And in the center of the circle lay a small, weathered book, its pages yellowed with age. Against their better judgment, the teenagers approached, drawn inexorably towards the mysterious tome. With trembling hands, one of them reached out and opened it, revealing pages filled with arcane symbols and cryptic incantations. As they stared in disbelief, a cold wind swept through the room, extinguishing the candles in an instant. Darkness enveloped them like a cloak, thick and suffocating. And then, they heard it. A low, guttural growl emanating from the darkness, growing louder and more menacing with each passing moment. With a collective scream, they turned and fled, their footsteps echoing through the corridors as they raced towards the exit. But as they reached the door, they realized with horror that it was sealed shut, as if by some unseen force. Trapped in the darkness, the teenagers huddled together, their hearts pounding in their chests as the growling drew closer and closer. And then, with a deafening roar, the creature emerged from the shadows, its eyes blazing with unholy fury. And in that moment, they knew they were not alone in the abandoned army camp. They were trapped in a nightmare from which there was no escape. Story 3. The moon hung low in the sky casting a silvery glow over the deserted army camp nestled in the heart of the wilderness. A group of friends, eager for adventure, had decided to spend the night exploring the abandoned grounds, heedless of the warnings whispered by the locals. As they ventured deeper into the camp, 
A sense of unease settled over them like a heavy fog. The air seemed to crackle with an unseen energy, sending shivers down their spines. But they pressed on, their curiosity outweighing their apprehension. They soon stumbled upon a decrepit barracks, its windows shattered and doors hanging off their hinges. Intrigued, they cautiously stepped inside, their footsteps echoing in the silence of the night. But as they explored the darkened corridors, they became aware of a strange sensation the feeling of being watched. Nervous laughter filled the air as they dismissed their fears as mere paranoia. That is, until they heard it. A soft whisper, barely audible above the sound of their own breathing. They froze, exchanging fearful glances as the whispering grew louder, surrounding them on all sides. With mounting dread, they realized they were not alone in the barracks. Something sinister lurked in the shadows, its presence palpable in the darkness. Panic set in as they turned to flee, only to find their path blocked by an invisible barrier. Desperate, they pounded on the walls, screaming for help into the night. But their cries fell on deaf ears. For in the heart of the abandoned army camp, surrounded by the whispers of the restless spirits that called it home, they were trapped. And as the whispers grew louder, drowning out their screams, they knew they would never escape the horrors that lurked within. Story 4. Deep in the heart of the dense forest, where the trees seemed to whisper secrets to each other in the gentle breeze, stood an old army camp long forgotten by time. Its crumbling buildings, overgrown with ivy and moss, bore silent witness to the horrors that had unfolded within its walls. Legend spoke of a regiment of soldiers who had vanished without a trace one fateful night, leaving behind nothing but whispers of a darkness that lurked within the camp's shadowed corridors. Despite the warnings of locals, a group of thrill-seekers decided to spend the night within its haunted confines, eager to uncover the truth behind the camp's sinister reputation. As they ventured into the camp under the cloak of darkness, a sense of trepidation hung heavy in the air. The moon cast an eerie glow over the dilapidated buildings, casting long shadows that seemed to dance menacingly in the night. Their first stop was the barracks, its rusted gates groaning as they pushed them open. Inside, the air was thick with dust and the musty scent of decay. Each step echoed ominously as they made their way through the labyrinthine corridors, their hearts pounding in their chests. Suddenly, a piercing scream shattered the silence, sending shockwaves of terror through the group. They turned to see one of their companions, pale-faced and trembling, pointing a shaky finger towards the darkness. There, there was someone there, she stammered, her voice barely a whisper. But when they looked, there was nothing but empty darkness staring back at them. Dismissing it as their imagination running wild, they pressed on, determined to uncover the secrets hidden within the camp's walls. As they explored further, they stumbled upon a decrepit laboratory, its shelves lined with dusty vials and faded documents. Amongst the clutter, they found a journal, its pages yellowed with age and filled with the ramblings of a madman. The entries spoke of experiments gone awry, of forbidden knowledge sought at a terrible cost. As they read on, a sense of dread washed over them, the realization dawning that they were not alone in the camp. With growing unease, they retraced their steps, the feeling of being watched following them like a shadow. And then, in the darkness, they saw it a figure shrouded in black, its eyes burning with malice. With a collective gasp, they turned to flee, but the exits had vanished, replaced by impenetrable walls of darkness. Trapped within the camp's sinister grasp, they knew that their fate was sealed. And as the shadows closed in around them, swallowing them whole, they became just another chapter in the army camp's dark and twisted history, doomed to wander its haunted halls for eternity. Story 5. In the heart of a desolate landscape, surrounded by rugged mountains and dense forests, stood an army camp that time seemed to have forgotten. Its once bustling grounds now lay abandoned, the echoes of past battles haunting its dilapidated buildings. A group of urban explorers, drawn by tales of the camp's eerie past, ventured into its decaying corridors one moonlit night. Armed with flashlights and a sense of adventure, they braved the darkness, eager to uncover its secrets. As they made their way through the overgrown paths, the air grew heavy with anticipation. Shadows danced ominously in the flickering light, 
and the distant howl of a lone wolf sent shivers down their spines. Their first stop was the barracks, its crumbling walls a testament to the passage of time. Inside, they found remnants of the soldiers who once called this place home, discarded uniforms, rusted weapons, and faded photographs lining the walls. But as they delved deeper into the camp, they began to sense that they were not alone. Whispers seemed to emanate from the very walls themselves, the voices of the long-departed soldiers echoing through the corridors. Undeterred, they pressed on, their curiosity overpowering their fear. They ventured into the officers' quarters, where they stumbled upon a hidden chamber concealed behind a false wall. Inside, they found a collection of strange artifacts, ancient relics imbued with dark power. Among them was a weathered tome bound in black leather, its pages filled with cryptic symbols and forbidden incantations. As they pored over the tome, a sense of dread washed over them. They realized too late that they had awakened something malevolent, something that had been slumbering within the camp's walls for centuries. A cold wind swept through the chamber, extinguishing their flashlights and plunging them into darkness. And then, they heard it the sound of footsteps echoing through the corridors, growing closer and closer with each passing moment. With mounting horror, they realized that they were not alone in the camp. Something ancient and unholy stalked them in the shadows, its presence filling them with an overwhelming sense of dread. With no way out and nowhere to run, they huddled together, their hearts pounding in their chests as the footsteps drew nearer. And as the darkness enveloped them, they knew that they had become just another chapter in the army camp's haunted history, destined to roam its cursed grounds for all eternity. Story 6. The army camp stood at the edge of civilization, surrounded by a dense forest that seemed to swallow the sunlight hole. Its abandoned buildings loomed like silent sentinels, bearing witness to the horrors that had unfolded within its walls. A group of friends, eager for adventure on a moonless night, ventured into the camp despite the warnings of locals. Ignoring the tales of vanished soldiers and restless spirits, they entered the darkness with reckless abandon, their laughter echoing eerily through the trees. As they explored the camp's deserted corridors, a sense of unease settled over them like a suffocating blanket. Shadows danced on the walls, twisting and contorting in unnatural shapes, and the air grew thick with the stench of decay. Their first hint of danger came when they stumbled upon an old bunker hidden beneath the earth. Its heavy metal door stood slightly ajar, beckoning them with a sinister allure. With trembling hands, they pushed the door open and descended into the darkness below. The air grew colder with each step, and the sound of their footsteps seemed to echo endlessly through the narrow passageways. Suddenly, a blood-curdling scream pierced the silence, sending shivers down their spines. They raced towards the source of the sound, their hearts pounding in their chests, only to find themselves face to face with a nightmare. In the flickering light of their flashlights, they saw it a grotesque figure lurking in the shadows, its eyes glowing with a malevolent gleam. Its twisted form seemed to shift and morph with every passing moment, as if it were a creature born of nightmares. With a primal instinct for survival, they turned and fled, their screams echoing through the darkness as they ran. But no matter how fast they ran, the creature was always one step behind, its unearthly howls echoing through the night. As they reached the edge of the forest, they dared to glance back, only to find the army camp engulfed in flames. The unearthly screams of the creature mingled with the crackling of the fire, a symphony of horror that would haunt their nightmares for years to come. And as they stumbled into the safety of the outside world, they knew that they had narrowly escaped the clutches of something far more sinister than they could have ever imagined. The army camp, once a place of refuge, had become a prison of nightmares from which there was no escape. Story 7. Deep in the heart of the wilderness, where the trees whispered secrets and the wind carried a chill that seemed to seep into one's bones, there stood an army camp long forgotten by the passage of time. Its weather-beaten buildings loomed like spectres in the moonlight, casting long shadows that danced eerily across the forest floor. A group of thrill-seekers, drawn by tales of the camp's dark history, ventured into its forsaken grounds on a night when the stars hid behind thick, roiling clouds. Ignoring the warnings of those who knew better, they stepped into the darkness with a mixture of excitement and trepidation, 
their flashlights cutting through the gloom-like feeble beacons of hope. As they explored the abandoned camp, the air grew heavy with the weight of centuries-old secrets. Each creak of a floorboard, each rustle of leaves, seemed to echo with the whispers of the past, urging them to turn back before it was too late. The journey led them deeper into the heart of the camp, where they stumbled upon a series of underground tunnels hidden beneath the earth. Intrigued by the possibility of uncovering hidden treasures or forgotten relics, they descended into the darkness, their footsteps echoing off the damp, stone walls. But as they delved deeper into the labyrinthine tunnels, they soon realized that they were not alone. Shadows flitted at the edge of their vision, and strange, otherworldly noises echoed through the darkness, sending shivers down their spines. Their sense of unease turned to outright terror when they stumbled upon a chamber bathed in an eerie, green light. In the center of the chamber stood a strange altar, its surface etched with arcane symbols and covered in dried blood. Before they could react, the very walls seemed to come alive, twisting and contorting like living flesh. Trapped within the bowels of the earth, they were at the mercy of forces beyond their comprehension. Suddenly, a low, guttural growl reverberated through the chamber, freezing them in place with fear. From the shadows emerged a monstrous creature, its eyes blazing with unholy fire, its twisted form a grotesque parody of nature. With nowhere to run and no hope of escape, they stood face to face with the embodiment of their worst nightmares. In that moment, they knew that they had trespassed into a realm of darkness from which there could be no return. As the creature advanced, its claws outstretched and its fangs bared in a rictus grin, they could only watch in horror as their doom descended upon them. And in the depths of the abandoned army camp, their screams joined the chorus of those who had come before them, doomed to haunt its cursed grounds for all eternity. Story 8. In the heart of the Appalachian Mountains, where the mist clung to the trees like a shroud and the moon cast long, eerie shadows across the forest floor, there lay an army camp that time had forgotten. Nestled amidst the rugged terrain, its dilapidated buildings stood as silent sentinels, bearing witness to the horrors that had unfolded within its walls. Legend spoke of a regiment of soldiers who had vanished without a trace one moonless night, leaving behind nothing but whispers of a darkness that lurked within the camp's shadowed corridors. Despite the warnings of locals and the chill that seemed to permeate the very air, a group of intrepid explorers decided to spend the night within its haunted confines, driven by a morbid curiosity to uncover the truth behind the camp's sinister reputation. As they made their way through the dense forest, the sound of their footsteps was swallowed by the eerie silence that enveloped the landscape. The moon hung low in the sky, its pale light casting an ethereal glow over the abandoned camp, and a sense of foreboding settled over the group like a heavy blanket. Their first steps into the camp were met with a bone-chilling chill that seemed to seep into their very souls. The buildings loomed ominously in the darkness, their windows shattered and their walls marred by time and neglect. Undeterred by the oppressive atmosphere, the explorers pressed on, their flashlights cutting through the gloom as they ventured deeper into the heart of the camp. But with each passing moment, the feeling of being watched grew stronger, and the air grew thick with a palpable sense of unease. Their first sign that something was amiss came when they stumbled upon an old mess hall, its tables overturned and its walls covered in strange symbols. As they examined the graffiti, a sudden gust of wind swept through the room, extinguishing their flashlights and plunging them into darkness. Panic set in as they groped blindly in the dark, their hearts pounding in their chests as they struggled to find their way out. But before they could regain their bearings, they heard it a low, guttural growl echoing through the darkness, followed by the sound of shuffling footsteps drawing nearer and nearer. With mounting terror, the explorers realized that they were not alone in the camp. Something ancient and malevolent lurked in the shadows, its presence filling them with a primal fear unlike anything they had ever known. Desperate to escape the encroaching darkness, they fled deeper into the camp, their minds racing with thoughts of the horrors that awaited them. But no matter how fast they ran, the darkness seemed to swallow them whole, its icy tendrils reaching out to drag them into the abyss. And as they disappeared into the depths of the abandoned army camp, their screams echoing through the night, they became just another chapter in its dark and twisted history, destined to wander its cursed grounds for all eternity.